Hello YouTubers! This channel is all about RV living, traveling, and do-it-yourself projects. Please hit the subscribe button below. Hello Dubers! Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to continue on with this battery holder build. We're actually going to put the batteries in the holder and we're going to solder the ground side to the ground uh, bar bus. Um, but before we do, we're going to do one last test on these batteries. If you recall, we took them out of the battery uh, laptop holders. We tested them. We picked the batteries for our uh, that we're going to use in our battery. Uh, then we recharged them, and it's been about a week since I charged these particular batteries, so I'm just going to verify that they're all holding charge. Remember, if you're going to store a batteries for very long, you need to uh, discharge them down to about 3.5 volts. That's what all new batteries are shipped at, and they say they'll last forever. Uh, but these have been fully charged for one week. And uh, we're just going to verify that charge. This is simple enough. Um, all I'm doing is sliding the batteries into the holder. But the thing you want to watch for here, and I've done this, I've seen people do it, is if you're not careful, you'll put a couple of batteries in there backwards. And when you go to solder it up, you won't notice it when you solder just this side. But when you solder the other side, you'll get a direct short on those particular batteries and uh, it'll get your attention. So just take your time and be sure that you're, and double check that you've got all the batteries in, in the uh, correct direction. Here I am gluing each cell with just a dab of glue on each side of the battery, on the positive side and the negative. And the reason I'm doing this, this battery is going to be in a moving vehicle with G-forces in all direction on it. And I don't want these batteries vibrating in this holder or moving side to side stressing the ground wire and the positive wire. If these batteries were going to be sitting stationary in your garage or in a different application where it wasn't moving this would not be necessary but I thought it was important it's, it's, the glue is going to act, act as a shock absorber as well as keep any stress from occurring to the ground wire and the uh, fuse Now what I'm doing here is uh, I'm cleaning and prepping the surfaces of these batteries for the solder. This is a uh, flux, non-corrosive flux, and um, it's important that you clean these surfaces and you prepare it because uh, it'll take less time uh, to solder those surfaces. You don't want to apply the heat for very long to these batteries. Um, of course, spot welding is the best, but us that don't have a spot welder, uh, this is our next option.
Now here I'm beginning to actually solder the wire off from the battery to the uh, bus bar. These are the wires I had left over when I was building the bus bars. They're very fine wires. Some people actually use these for fuse wires. My experience was bad using uh, the small wire because uh, you would think it would blow very quickly, but this takes about 10 amps. And if you go into Average Joe's uh, channel, he did about 10 videos on testing different wire. And if I recall correctly, these blew at about 10 amps. And last, but most importantly, we want to verify that all of our soldering joints are good. So we we'll want a multimeter that, uh, preferably if you had tone for continuity, it's, sim it's much simpler. You don't have to look at the meter. You can just listen for the tone. But all you do is connect the negative or one of the terminals to your bus bar and just touch anywhere on the battery other than your solder joint and make sure that you've got continuity to the bus bar. And uh, you'll do the op I mean, you'll do the exact same thing on the fuse side. So that's how I finish off these batteries except for the fuse. And uh, I'll be uh, probably doing a video on fused on um, uh, installing the fuses. I've never done the glass fuses before, so uh, I'll be learning as I go. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, put them down below. If you found any value in this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching. Check you later. <laughs>